Hello, everyone. I'm here with Susie Alliker, CEO of Tandem Bank. Hello, Susie. Thank Good you morning. so much for coming along today. I wondered if we could start with you telling us a little bit about you and your focus at Tandem Bank. Great. Thank you. And um, it's great to be here at this important event. Tandem was was originally founded as one of the um, original neobanks in 2014. I actually joined as CEO last June. Tandem is on a mission to provide greener and fairer financial choices with a particular focus on the mainstream, the everyday customer. Our product portfolio um, covers um, mortgages, savings, personal loans, car finance and home improvement lending. Our home improvement lending division has currently just topped about £300 million of lending for green home improvements. That's now about a quarter of our balance sheet. And what we'll be doing going forward is flowing greener and fairer choices throughout our product portfolio. So, and, and um, we, we've made a start. There's an awful lot more to do in terms of building on that, that sort of fairer and greener agenda. Thanks. That sounds very promising, cleaner and fairer. Does that mean that you see consumers really changing their attitudes towards green living and finance? And I think that that's a, that's a really important question. The optimist in me says, yes, absolutely. I think that there is really an awareness of the need to make change. However, the realist in me says there's an awful lot, long way to go. If we look at, um, at, at COP26, which took place last year, we've just recently done some research, more than half of British consumers haven't made any changes since COP26. And um, if we're looking at the current situation, our, our research also shows that most people are quite understandably prioritizing the current cost of living crisis over and above climate change, which has probably dropped down to, to sort of at least number three mm. in the list of priorities. And so we, we've got a long way to go. There is definitely some, some element of take up. I think that there are a number of challenges around understanding, understanding what needs to be done. Um, again, about 70% of people don't know what their home's EPC rating is. 15% of the UK's carbon emissions come from our homes. So we need to build a programme of awareness and understanding. I think we need to do more in terms of building out um, incentives to encourage um, uh, our consumers to, to start to make this, this journey. And very much, I think, to make climate change move from the slipstream into the mainstream. Those are some great points. And I think particularly around the need for that consumer education and incentivizing people to make change. And looking ahead, I know you'll be yep. discussing some mm -hmm. of these issues on stage with us today. But what most excites you about Tandem's plans to disrupt the financial services sector going ahead? And, and I, I think very, very, very clear and picking up on some of the themes. I, I've been in financial services for, for a long time now, but, but now is a prime opportunity and a prime moment, as you say, to disrupt financial services. But also, as, as we look at digital and how technology can help do that, there's some great stuff out there, really neat little carbon tracker apps, those sorts of things. So a cr real cross-section between financial services digital, and of course, a purpose-led strategy. Uh, and in answer to your question, what excites me is pulling the, those, those together to start to make a, a real difference. Great. I can definitely sense that um, optimism and excitement. So thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. And I look forward to hearing your session on stage. My pleasure. Thank you very much.